What's up, y'all? So finally, I have, I have, I'm getting rid of these headache ass mics. That's what I'm gonna call the Road Riders Go To mics. I know when people talk about these mics, they're gonna be like, hey, Sean, you're tripping. Like, the Road Riders Go To's are the Peter McKinnon recommendations and Sydney designs and uh, what? I don't know, some of the other YouTubers y'all be watching and shit. Y'all know who I'm talking about, bro. I'm finally getting rid of the Road Riders Go To's for something that's way better. And I have 10 reasons why these mics are way better. Today we're gonna to be discussing the DJI mics. The sound quality that you're hearing from that mic is like currently right now. Um, it's right here as you all can, you can see. Let's get into it. Now for the main 10 reasons why I am leaving, the world riders go to starts now. So that's more part of you, like the, 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 the meat and potatoes of it starts now. So here we go. Number one, the DJI mics actually comes with a charging case. It comes with the charging case. I pay the Road Riders Go 2s, I think like when at the time of reset was 300 bucks, I think they're on sale right now, but the DJI mics is $329. So for $30 more, you get a charging case that can charge the receiver and transmitters together in ease of use. It comes with the charging case, Road. Now, I know you all are like, hey, Sean, the Road Riders Go 2 has other accessories out there, which in return will make it more than the, the DJI mics, but also it comes with this big black ass of a case. Now, just like you all who has, who has a Road Riders Go 2 who probably, you know, got this case as well. Let me tell you something right now. Do not buy this case. Do not buy this case right here. Okay, the reason why you don't want to buy this case is because like it doesn't essentially stop charging your Road Riders Go 2. So I've actually been having battery issues Every time I've been using this case, whether it's like false charge or false readings on my battery life, like it'll say like I got this much percentage left, when the actuality I don't. So sometimes I get to a wedding and then like my battery's actually like completely dead um, because I figured I charge it in this so it should be okay, but that was not the case. Again, do not buy the CGN, the, 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 the ZG Cine case, don't get it. It, it, will, it will fuck up your mics. The other reason why I'm leaving the Rode mics behind for the DJI mics is because when you open up the case with the DJI mics, they actually are, like when you open it up, it lets you, it, it greets you with such a beautiful interface to let you know, hey, this is how much battery life is left, and then how much time you have to be able to record on these particular units. Fam. Good job, DJI. And also to be clear, DJI is not sponsoring this video. I bought this shit with my own money. This is me. This is why I can talk to you like that because it's, it's, it's my shit. I bought it. Nobody said something. But it's so dope because the moment you open the case, you agree with that with that screen, right? And then the moment you take them out, they are ready, like they're already turned on. They're already turned on. You take them out and then they start recording automatically for you. You feel the little vibration. Doo -doo -doo -doo, and then you oh my god, bro. Like what roll, y'all, like it's so crazy. Like the, the simple things that DJI the DJI got right with these mics, it's like roll. What the hell was y'all thinking when y'all created these mics? Like everything, I feel like DJI was like, okay, let's take everything bad about the Rode Wireless Go Tools and make the ours just way better. And I feel like that's what they did. The fact that when you open up your case and you're greeted with that screen and then you're able to take your mics out and they're already recording. You don't have to worry about if you, if you, if you record or not, did you turn the mic on long enough? Did you hold the button down long enough on your Roll Riders Go 2? Because let's be real here, you gotta hold that button down for a long ass time for that thing to turn on. They're already fully charged and already ready to go. Look, look, have the feedback and you know when it's recording, like you're gonna feel that vibration. It's down like a cell phone vibration. You know that they're ready to go and you just put it on your client or your talent and know that you're recording. It could all be so simple. Reason number three, you can actually monitor the audio from the transmitter on the actual receiver itself. So let's just say you get some type of noise coming, like, you know, you, you got your headphones plugged into your camera. You're like, man, I'm getting some type of interference. Let me see if it's something else. So then you can actually plug your headphones into the actual receiver on the DJI, which you can do on the road, right? Let's go twos. But you'll plug your headphones in and make sure that, okay, the audio's coming in crystal clear, got it, cool, there's something else going on. But nonetheless, I love the fact that you can actually monitor the audio going directly to the receiver versus just coming through the camera. Reason number four, this is, this, this is, this is so clutch. The reason why I didn't give a shit about a range test with these mics is because I'm really using it for weddings and then like client work is like backup lives, right? I, they have very simple use cases, okay? But the reason why I think these mics are so phenomenal is because you can actually toggle the record in mute from the actual receiver itself. So let's just say you're like, damn, did I, you know, let's just say what the road riders go to, cause this has happened before. Let's just say you plug this up and you're like, oh shit, I don't remember if I turn on the mic on the grown one. So let me go back to him, look embarrassed, like, oh shit, hey, 
let me just double check your mic to make sure you're good. Versus here on the DJI mics, you can actually either just mute it if you wanna hear that conversation throughout the whole thing, or you could toggle the records to say like, okay, the wedding's about to start, all right, let me just make sure it's recording. Oh, it's not, let me turn it on. So whether you have a bad server, a bad wireless signal or not, you know for the, for the most part, if your groom is up there, you know that the signal's gonna be good enough for that. I can tell you that much for sure. Hi, James. Take you, Jordan. Take you, Jordan. To be my wife. To be my wife. And you can just toggle the record on directly from the receiver. Now, before we get to number five, there, there's two things that you need to do. Number one, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're rocking with the video so far and you actually, and you actually like, damn, I didn't notice about the DJI mics versus the Rode, just give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, B. That's all I'm asking. Number two, this video is not sponsored by Lens Rentals, but they do rock with your boys. So if, you are, if you're actually looking to rent any new gear to test anything out, use coupon code BROOKS15 and you'll get 15% off your next rental at LensRentals.com. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BROOKSMEDIA with two S's if you want to add the S, you ain't spelling it right. Now, reason number five. I feel like the mic's clipping mechanism, if you will, um, not necessarily, necessarily and, and not necessarily clip, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a good clip, but I love the fact that you can actually use a magnet, which I'm doing here, to actually clip it onto something or your subject. So let's just say if you want to kind of have it inside and you just kind of have like want to have like a little black square, you can do that, hide your mic, and people will never know that it was there. I I barely can even see the damn thing. I can't even see it. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Like that's way more inconspicuous than you having this big ass blue light right here talking about some, oh yeah, bro. Uh like, look how it look, bro. This is like, a, like a big ass pager, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, this is legit like a beeper. Back in the day for all you, my 90s baby out there, this, le this legit looks like a beeper on your goddamn lapel and you sitting here trying to talk to it versus something like this that looks a little bit more classy, dignified. You see what I'm saying? Number six, you can make changes to the actual transmitter on the actual receiver. So like, again, like if you want to format if you wanna format these, right? You forgot to take the audio off, you're like, shit, I ain't got that much time. You don't have a computer around, you don't have to do everything through the goddamn app. You can format your units directly from the receiver itself. You have way more controls and better, you just, the, the fact that you even have touch controls on this thing, and you have no controls at all other than the actual uh, physical, let me just show you all. Actually, other than the physical buttons that you get on this thing here, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you like you have those, but the fact that you're actually able to touch the screen on the DJI mics receiver is way better. And it's just, it's, again, it's not close, B, it's, it's not close. Number seven, you can see the interface of your receiver directly in front of you versus like the Roll Riders go to it. It's sitting on top of the camera in which you have to unlock your tripod, bend your camera down, then look at it. You can actually just look at the camera and see like, okay, I see all, all my settings, I see my audio levels, I know that I'm good. Number eight, they're actually smaller and look way, and I think I touched on some before, but this is still a, a good point to me. I'm going over again, goddammit, bonus one, whatever. They're, they're smaller, they're like, there's a way smaller footprint of the DJI mics in comparison to the Roll Riders Go 2s. And here they are. That is a way smaller footprint. Like, look at that, right? Yeah, so if you want, I feel like the, and to me, these look a little bit more professional. These look a little bit more content creator. I do this YouTube stuff. Number nine. This is pretty big, actually, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. They charge way faster than the Roll Riders Go 2s. Like, I think you get these things back up fully charged in an hour and a half, so even if you did forget to charge these, which I don't understand how you would get to charge them, if they're in the case, but nonetheless, um, they charge back in an hour and a half, like fully charged, versus the Roll Riders Go 2s in this low ass battery. Man, these things take forever to charge. Man, I, think, I mean, I, I, it gotta be at least like two or three hours to get a full charge off of these units here. If you got, if you forgot to charge these over a wedding, if you forgot to charge these the night before and you got like a wedding the next day, which it happens, you're gonna be, man, well, you could be sitting there trying to bring power banks or bring big ass cases like this to make sure you charge them up versus bringing this little small thing that can fit easily into your pocket and know that you're gonna have a full charge anytime you take these joints out. I mean, man, bro. The last and final thing in which I didn't care how these, I mean, I cared a little bit how they sounded, but if they sounded like a little bit worse than the Rode Riders Go 2s, I was still gonna stick with them because of this one thing here, and I think Rode, like, what the hell? Which leads me into number 10, the most crucial thing of this all. I do not need an application to get audio off of my damn units. Man, listen, I can plug these things straight in 
And the moment I see the folder, I can open it and drag the big ass wave files over to whatever to whatever folder I need to put them in. I don't need an application. I don't have to wait a long ass time. I, I'm ready to go. The world riders go too. You gotta wait. You gotta wait to plug it in. And before they did the update, they actually broke your files up into 30 second increments. Now they stopped that, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on it too much. But nonetheless, that you know, it's just it's just a way dumb system to get audio off a unit when it's just like I should be able to plug it in and be like just grab grab it off the computer. So you're telling me essentially if I if I go to another computer, I don't have to shoot on the job. I don't have my computer with me, and then I need to offload some of this audio on somebody else's computer. I can't do with the World Riders Go Tools unless they have an application versus like the DJI mics. You can literally just plug it in no matter what computer it is, open it up, open up your folder and grab your files. Dog, what what more do I need to, oh, video over. DJI mics, you kick World Riders Go Two ass. Hopefully, Roll, you take some notes. The DJI mics are phenomenal for the price point. They sound great. They have so many features, especially if you're doing professional work, especially if you're doing weddings, especially if you're doing weddings. I recommend the DJI mics easily 10 times over over the Roll Riders Go Two. If you disagree with me, though, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I doubt if you disagree, and, I, and to be honest, I could care less because this, this shit has made my life a whole bunch easier. Um, but yeah. I'll holler at y'all down in the comments, man. It's your boy Sean B, and I'm out, man. Deuces.